All right, let's make some eyebrows for our Second Life avatar. These are the eyebrows we're actually going to end up with. The goal of this tutorial is to show you the basics of making eyebrows for your Second Life avatar. Let's get started. All right, hello, my name is Quark Yifu, and I'm going to show you how to make an eyebrow texture for your Second Life avatar. First thing we're going to do is open a new project with 1024 by height 1024, resolution 72, that's okay, background contents white, and we're going to click OK. All right, now we are first going to create a new layer. Here's my new layer thing right here. And uh, <clears throat> what I want to do is make a brush. Now, the reason I want to make a brush is because I don't know what brushes you're going to have available. You could use this one, but it's not all that great. So it's okay. We're just going to make a new brush. And what I'm going to do, uh, I could use the pen tool to make a brush, but I want to make little sharp edges on it. So I'm just going to make a circle. See my little circle here? And uh, see, I've got that in a new layer. Now I'm going to go edit and stroke my circle. Okay, it's a three pixel width stroke with the color black, and I'm going to have it on center, and I'm going to go OK. Now I'm going to go Control D, or I could go in selection, deselect is Control D, and you can see I've got a circle there. Well, I only want an eyebrow, so I only want about that much of my circle. So what I'm going to do is make another circle, still have the circle tool. Now with the circle tool, if I hold, notice if I hold the space bar down, I can move my circle around. If I let go of the space bar, it lets me resize it. Okay, so I'm going to hold the space bar down, put it over there, and keep resizing it. I just want to get a little bit of the edge there. And there you go. Now that I've got this all selected, I'm just going to press the backspace key. And it's going to delete everything in there. I guess you could press the delete key too. Okay, the delete key works. All right, now I'm going to control D to deselect my area. Now let's take a look at what I got. See, there's my little sharp edge. That's what I wanted right there. And this is going to be my eyebrow. Now I really want my eyebrow to be curved, so I'm going to have to warp that later. But right now, let's cut off the rest of my eyebrow that I don't need here. So I'm going to go like this. Now again, I want that sharp edge that little angled edge there on the bottom. So I'm going to make my circle right here. And there, that's going to give me my little angled edge. And again, I'm just going to press the delete key and it's going to cut out everything I don't need. I'm going to go control D to deselect it. Now the one last thing I got to do is <clears throat> I want to warp this and make it look like it's not, you know, a perfect circle uh, piece. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit transform warp and what I want to do is just move that out a little see just to make it look so it's not perfect so there you go that's a pretty good eyebrow I think that's a good eyebrow <clears throat> okay so now I got my brush but see I got all this empty space well I don't need all that empty space to make my brush so I'm going to by the way, if you hold the space key down, you can just drag your canvas over here like that. So I got that, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is crop that out. So I just want my little brush area in there, and I'm going to crop the rest of it out. Like that. Again, I'm just holding the space bar. Let's me move my uh, selection area. Okay, so now I've got it cropped. Now, now see this is on its own layer. It's just a little brush. There's no background. If I click the background off, you can see there's no background. And it's kind of a fuzzy, not perfect uh, little line. And that's just what I wanted. It's just curved just a little bit. Pretty good. Probably could curve it a little more, but I don't want to do too much to it. So now I'm going to go File, or I'm sorry, Edit, and Define Brush Preset. Okay? Now, a different version of Photoshop might have a different name for that. But we are going to name this Hair. And let's name it Hair 1. Okay, now if I click on my brushes now, you can see that I can click on my brushes. And look at that. There's my hair. There's my little brush. See? Okay, so now that I have the brush, I actually don't need this anymore. So I'm going to close it. Do I want to save it? No, I don't really want to. Okay, so now we're going to open up a new file. 1024 by 1024 is what I'm working in, so 
that's ultimately what gets uploaded into Second Life anyway. Uh, sometimes I upload 512 by 512, so that's the same <clears throat> same kind of thing. A little lower resolution. Your skin uh, reses a little faster. Okay, so now let's make our eyebrow. First, we're going to make a new layer. Okay, now you can see I've got my eyebrow selected as my brush. You see this here? See, that's my brush. Okay, now just to give you an idea, I'm going to have to show some things and then I'm going to delete them by pressing Control Z. I'm stepping backwards. So if I just take my brush and I just drag it, you see that's what it does. See, it just makes little repeating brush steps. And that isn't really a very good eyebrow. What I want it to do is start big and get smaller. Okay, so I'm going to go Control Z and, and delete that. And what we're going to do is, I'm not sure where this is going to be on your uh, version of Photoshop. But there is always a window for brushes. So I can click over here and click it, but window brushes. So here I have my brush, and what I'm going to do is manipulate how this brush makes its texture. And I'm going to do that with Shape Dynamics. Okay, Shape Dynamics, what I want to do is make a size jitter. Okay, I want my size to fade as I drag it. So now you see I, I I made the control to fade so the longer I make my line the more it fades and it's gonna fade out in 25 steps. I'll show you what it does. See? Now if you counted those there'd be 25 little brush strokes. Well 25 is not enough so I'm gonna go control Z and get that out. And let's go maybe 60. I want 60 eyebrows. Okay? So that's got my 60 eyebrows. Let's see how that looks. Well, that looks pretty good. That's not bad. I'm control Z. All right, now I want a little bit of size jitter, maybe 2%. So that'll make it so it's not perfect. You don't want your eyebrows to look perfect. They don't look too good. Okay, now I want a little bit of an angle jitter too. I want about a 2% angle jitter so the eyebrows aren't perfectly in place. See? That's pretty good, huh? Control Z. Now, another thing I want is to have the eyebrows different lightnesses. So you can see I've got my black and white set up for black foreground, white background. Okay, this is the easiest way to do it. There's all kinds of other ways to do it. But I'm going to go color, color backgrounds and a foreground background jitter to about 50%. That's going to be pretty good. And uh, I just clicked on this. I don't know why it's got the hue jitter set to 3%, but we're going to leave it like that. And purity is at zero. So now let's see what it does. See, now we got a little bit more of a, you know, a uh, <clears throat> little bit more of a variance in our eyebrow. Okay, control Z. Now that looks pretty good. That looks like, that would probably make a pretty good eyebrow. I'm going to get rid of that. Now, let's make our curve. I'm not sure that my eyebrow is long enough, but if it isn't, I, let's, let's try 70. We'll go 10 more steps. There, that looks a little better. Control Z. Now, what we want to do is make a path for our eyebrow. Okay, now this is kind of hard to explain, but if I just made a curved line and then made another curved line, it would be pretty hard. It would be an imperfect little setup but what I can do is go over here and click my pen tool see my pen tool and I'll make now there's there's a nice tutorial on pen tools and it's on my I put the link on my website I don't I, I don't remember it right offhand but I'm gonna make my eyebrow path like that see see how that is now if I'm using the pen tool these little handles control the curve if I press the alt key I can grab that curve and mess it around. If I go up, if I make it longer, it makes it a more of a curve. If I make it shorter, it makes it less of a curve. And this controls where the curve is, the center of the curve is on the line. Okay, so I got a nice curve there. Now if I press the control key instead of the alt key, it lets me move these little points around. So I can move my, uh, you know, my points around wherever I want. So, okay, this looks like Gonna make that a little bit more. That looks like a pretty good curve shape for my eyebrow. See? Now I've got my I clicked on my little pass thing here. Now I'm going to right click on it 
and go stroke path with the brush tool, which we just made. And I'll go, okay. And it made my uh, eyebrow. That looks pretty good. That's doable. We can do that. Okay, now I don't know how to deselect this path. I haven't really figured out how to do it, so I'm just going to create a new path, and it will deselect the old path. There's probably a right way to do that. Uh, but what I want to actually do is here is it looks like a pretty good eyebrow. My little uh, path, I'm actually going to stroke it again with the brush tool again. There, that gives me a nice little bushy eyebrow. That might be a little too much. Uh, but, you know, pretty nice looking eyebrow. And I'll click on this other path to deselect that. Now this is my layer. That's my eyebrow. Now you'll see we, when we put that on our avatar that you can still move that around and, and reshape it quite a bit with the uh, transfer tool. So, okay, so I'm going to close this. We don't need that anymore. And I have a f uh, file already uh, made that has the head texture it has I'll turn these all off and turn them back on there it's got the base texture from uh, this is the avatar face texture that I got from the uh, Robin Woods site now I I have that on my site too I've got a little uh, thing here if you don't have these most of you probably do if you don't have a avatar UV map that you can paint on then this is where you get it. Robin Wood made this one, and she's got that. This is her link right here. I also have it on my site, my Google site for Quarkifu uh, Photoshop, and that's this link right here. Okay, so go there and get those if you don't have it. All right, and then I selected a skin texture. What I did was I, I downloaded a face from Google Maps or and uh, from Google Images, and I just took my little eyedropper tool and I clicked on a part of the face and I ended up with a face texture. Okay, and then this is the bump map overlay that you have, you get from Second Life. It's in your Second Life uh, folder on your computer. So it'd be C, Programs, X86, uh, Second Life, and the characters, and it has a whole bunch of UV maps. This is the bump map. It's not a great map, but you know it is. And this map here is a copy of the the UV uh, map that I put on top of my uh, skin texture and bump map so that I can use it to place my eyebrow. All right, so now I want my eyebrow to be right over my bump map layer. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to grab my eyebrow, I'm going to drag it over to my avatar. Okay, now I want to select my little move tool here so I can move this around. Okay. Now you can see, you know, if I turn that avatar face off, it's just got the bump map there. So I, I'm using this avatar face just so I can place the uh, eyebrow. And I've got the opacity to about 50%. It makes it easier for me to see where I'm supposed to place my eyebrow. So, okay, I'm going to select my eyebrow layer. Now you can go up here, edit, transform, and you want to uh, actually free transform is what we're going to do. Now control T is what I usually press, but I'll show you pre tra free transform is that's where it's at. So in case you don't remember to control T now, what we want to do is place our eyebrow right along that ridge there. Okay. So we'll have to resize our eyebrow and then move it in place and see with we can put it up there okay and hit enter and let's see how that looks that looks pretty good it's not a bad eyebrow now there's all kinds of things you can do with your eyebrow. You could thin it out, so make it thinner. I'm sure girls would want to make their eyebrows maybe a little thinner. Uh, you can use the opacity of your eyebrow and lighten it up quite a bit. You can also use the uh, application layers. You can use multiply just to darken your eyebrow on there. Or you could use, uh, let's say, color burn.
there's a screen that's a lightning effect color dodge so if you wanted to have uh, albino eyebrows you could do it like that the overlay seems to work pretty good for eyebrows but I want to make nice distinctive eyebrows so I am actually just going to use the normal layer and I will probably reduce the opacity a little bit and there's my eyebrow and again I at, after you start making eyebrows like this you can do a lot of things to manipulate them for instance you know you might 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 not want your eyebrows so big so you could shorten it up a little bit this is an interesting thing that I always like to do uh, to experiment with is you can skew your eyebrow you can take the uh, the uh, transform tool and go skew and you can skew the whole thing over like that see gives your eyebrow kind of a weird look and here's this is interesting if you press the control key it lets you move this bottom uh, corner independently of the rest of them so you can really make a, a unique looking eyebrow like that so you, you know so you get the hang of it your, yourself okay well, let's see what this looks like on our avatar oh oops I forgot we have to duplicate our eyebrow we're gonna control J which jumps our selection to another layer and then we're going to edit, transform, flip horizontal. See, now we made a new eyebrow. We flipped it horizontal. Now, I don't want to change its level, so I'm not going to touch the level. First, let's turn our UV map back on so we can see where it's going to be. So I make sure my U2 or my move tool is selected, and I'm just going to press the left arrow key and move it over now if I didn't press the left arrow key to move it over there's a chance I could move it up and down a little bit and I don't really want to do that it wouldn't make that much of a difference but now let's get this perfectly centered here you can see my little eyebrow I better bring the opacity of the background layer up a little bit so See how the edge of this eyebrow is meeting right about there? So we're going to do that with the other one too. That looks just about perfect. Perfectly matched up. Okay. And uh, actually, if you've got once you have your eyebrows, you can click them, merge the layers together, and you can move them both uh, at the same time. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, and let's see what they look like on our Second Life avatar. Okay, and you can see this is our the eyebrows we just made in Second Life. Now, if I were going to do this, I would probably move those up a little bit. And maybe lighten them up a little bit. Uh, you can see I have these on a female avatar. So I might have lightened them up a little bit too. But you'll get the hang of it after you uh, after you start making eyebrows. And you make a few eyebrows. Probably the first ones you make won't be too good. But after a while you'll get pretty good at making them. And there you have it. There's my eyebrow tutorial on how to make Second Life avatar eyebrows and thanks for watching